One of the most exciting things about sequencing the table M genomes is that we perhaps can find proteins which can bind small molecules, such as a drug, to an active site, and that will cause the inhibition of that, of that protein and hopefully death of the parasite. First of all, we looked at some traditional drug targets, such as kinases, and what we find is 250 to 300 new protein kinases in each tapeworm species. These green arrows show the kinases that were previously known and available in public databases. So as you see, this can have a huge impact. We also looked at proteases and protease inhibitors, and all of those are publicly available at the MIRAPS database. We found that they have a strongly reduced copy number of proteases compared to other species, but they do have all the major classes of proteases. We also looked at neuronal signaling, where we classified more than 60 putative GPCRs, again very good drug targets. We found ligand-gated ion channels, we found novel neuropeptides, and we mapped the signaling pathways of serotonin and acetylcholine neurotransmitters. But finally, we wanted to take a step back and said, given that each genome has about 10,000 genes, can we somehow rank them and say which ones would be the best drug targets? So we set up a set of criteria, such as if there is an orthologue of a protein which has a previously known drug or experimental molecule, this could allow for drug reuse, which will greatly help and accelerate the process at which new drugs can be discovered. Is this protein expressed in metacestodes? which is really important for it to be effective. Is it an essential protein in nematodes or mouse? Does it have a druggable domain? And with a few other criteria like that, we managed to put together a table of the current targets and proteins we think could possibly be good targets in the future. As you can see, the drugs most frequently used, albendazole and prasequantel, they rank pretty low. In the case of prasequantel, it's because the metacestode don't actually express the target of prasequantel, but it is efficient against adult tapeworms. What is also interesting is that several of the high scoring are cancer drug targets, which inhibit proliferation and growth and the cell cycle which, as you can see, since metacestodes are kind of like cancer cysts, that they grow very self selfishly and proliferate very fast, could be useful. So what we're hoping is that all of this can greatly accelerate the pace at which we can find drugs against tapeworms and fight this very dangerous and deadly disease which impacts so many people in the world.